Hey y'all, it's Callan from The Browser Company and I'm super excited to talk to y'all today about one of my favorite features in Arc, which is Spaces. I'm gonna tell you how I use it and for folks who are new to Arc or some old pros who want some new tips, I'm gonna tell you about how you can make the most of Spaces to really focus your life and use them kind of like multiple browser windows in one window. And before we dive in, I just wanna let you know that we're gonna talk about two big topics today the overarching spaces, which I mentioned already, and then profiles, which is a supporting feature that allows you to separate your digital life between a set of spaces or just one space and the rest of them. We'll talk about that a little bit more later on. So let's dive in with spaces. What are spaces for y'all who might not know? It's this, it's uh, a separate space where I can pin specific tabs to the top, give it a name, put an emoji, uh, save different things, customize the color. For me, this is my workspace. This is where I do all of my browser company work, where I respond to members and triage bugs. And then if we go to the next one over, which is this next little emoji here, this is my personal space. For me, I like to have a blank canvas. I love to Google random things, follow my bliss. So I love to have a little blank space in my personal life. And then I have a third space here, which is my acting space. I'm a professional actor, so I like to keep that separated out. It allows me to focus on anything that I really wanna work on, my auditions, classes I'm taking, projects I'm working on, and I have that separated out as well. And as you can see, different folders pinned to the top than all of those other spaces. Now, we've gone through the spaces I use. You might be wondering, how do I create my own? Let's go through using one of the things that I need to create a space for, which is an apartment redo that I'm doing with my partner. So that's a great project, an idea to have a separate space since it's totally self-contained and I wanna focus on it when I wanna focus on it. So how do I create a space? There are a couple of options. I can click the little plus button here at the bottom of the sidebar and click new space. I can also click, right click on the sidebar and I can go to new space. I can go up here to the top and click spaces, click new space, or my personal favorite, I can swipe on this last space, wait for that plus sign to fully load, let go, and a new space is created. As you can see, it's completely new, and what's great about it is it's blank, totally generic name, no emoji, just a generic color, and we can customize from here. So since we're talking about my apartment redo, we're going to give it a title of apartment redo. And then I love having really unique emojis for each one. It helps me visually keep everything separated. And I sometimes use that bottom bar. So let's pick a couch since it's related to an apartment redo. And then my favorite part, since I am a visual person, let's customize the color. Let's pick a pastel since not a lot of mine are pastel already. Visually completely different, so when I'm swiping, really easy to see that it's a different space. And then let's add some texture for fun. And voila, this is my new apartment redo space. It's awesome. So we can start pinning tabs that won't appear in any of my other spaces as pinned. Ikea is a great one for looking for furniture. I might wanna create a new folder here for a specific room, like the living room. And then I can put specific ideas into that folder and kind of go from there to really focus on that project in this one space. Now, spaces are great to separate out those projects and those different things, but for someone like me, it's not always enough. I like to keep my personal life and my work life, and my artistic life completely separated, um, and that includes cookies, search history, and my accounts, so that way I don't kind of have overlap and I can really totally focus when I'm working on one thing or the other. Luckily, at ARC, we have profiles which allow us to do that. Now, you might be wondering, what's a profile? How does it work? <laughs> All of those things. Let's go over it together. So if we go back to my work center, you can see I have specific favorites at the top that are related to my work for browser company. And then if we swipe over to my personal space, you can see the favorites are slightly different. They're my personal email, my yeah, my calendar, my New York Times. And if you look right here on this document, it's a completely different account. That's what's great about profiles. I can be logged into an account that isn't at all logged in on another profile. It also doesn't allow any overlap. So if we go back to my work center and we go to a Google doc here, you can see the avatar is for my personal browser company account. It's so nice, totally different, logged in differently. And on top of that, it doesn't have any 
cross over with your browser history or your cookies. So if we look here on my Peloton, I'm logged in here. I could pick any of the classes, look in there. But if we swipe back to my work center and we say Google Peloton, as we have here, and then we clicked on login um, or tried to go into a class, I'm not logged in here because it doesn't cross over. There's nothing that crosses over between those boundaries because they're separated profiles. But we do have an option to let you permeate, permeate that boundary when you want to. So say I was writing in this document that we talked about a little bit ago. It's my personal account, my personal avatar. And say I was like, oh, this document that I created is actually more pertinent to what I do at the browser company. Say I started coming up with ideas about features in Arc that might be great. Well, I can actually move this document. If I right click on this tab, I'm a clicker, um, you can go to move like you would do if you're just moving a tab between spaces. And I can go to work center. And I can go to today, I could pin it, I could go to any of these folders. And if I click, it's gonna tell me, hey, this is a different profile. Do you actually wanna do this? You might lose a login or lose your progress. Are you cool with that? One, this is great because as someone who randomly clicks things sometimes, I won't accidentally do something. And two, it does give you the option to actually permeate that boundary when you need to, which is honestly super helpful because sometimes in cases you need to do that. So it's a really helpful thing to be able to do that. Also, just so you know, you can pick up the tab and then like swipe it over if you prefer that. But personally, I'm a clicker. I like using clicks. I don't use the keyboard shortcuts as much as many other folks. So for me, clicking is where it's at. All right, so we've gone over some of those features. Let's talk a little bit more about how you can customize profiles a little bit more of like the setting level. So if I go up into Arc and I go to Preferences, we can actually customize the settings for each profile a little bit further. So let's go over to General Settings and let's go down to this bottom section. As you can see, my profiles that I currently have created are listed here. Default, which right now is set as my work profile. It's just the profile that I started on with Arc. So I started this um, when I started working at Arc, at, at browser company rather. So that's why it's my default. You can see my search engine is Google and my downloads folder is set to my just general downloads folder. But what's great about this is if I go over to my personal profile, I could change the search engine. I could change it to Neva and it wouldn't affect my default profile. So my work stuff would still be Google. My personal stuff would be Neva. If you see here manage, I could set any sort of site to search. I could search Etsy, I could search IMDB, I could do anything to customize my personal space and it wouldn't affect my general default profile for my work life. I can also, if you look down here, the downloads location is completely different. I have a personal docs folder that all my personal documents when downloaded in this profile will go to. So not only is Arc giving me the option to really separate my life within its application, but it also lets me continue that with anything that moves over to my hard drive or my computer, which I super appreciate. So now that we've gone over all those customizations and all the little features, you probably are wondering, how do I create my first profile for myself? Great question, super easy. So we're gonna go back to our sidebar and we're gonna right click like we did before. We're gonna go over to space options. We're gonna go down to profile and then it's gonna show you new profile. So you can click that to create a new profile. So as an example, let's create a profile for my acting life since that's currently not separated out by profile, just by space. So we gotta give it a name. Let's give it acting, super easy. And then let's click next. Now I can actually move any of my current spaces over to this new profile. I could move multiple or just one or none. So let's pick acting since that's the one we're creating it for and then hit create profile. And it's gonna sometimes remind me like, do I wanna change this? Is it cool to let that browser data go? And for me, I'm gonna say yes, super okay with that. And ta-da, here I am in my, <laughs> in my new profile in my acting space. As you can see, my favorites are now reset and my browser history, my cookies are completely reset. So I can actually add whatever I want to my, pro to my favorites rather now in this profile. So for me, that might be imdb.com and I could move that up there if I use it a lot. I could do YouTube since I might use that a lot during my acting life. 
And just as an example, since this used to share with my personal profile, if I wanted to log into that email or any other ones, I'd have to go from the top again. It's completely separated, no permeation anymore. So I have to log in again. I have to authenticate with my personal account or with any accounts, which is really great, especially when you're trying to totally focus and not get distracted by another email, another account, pinging and everything like that. I can totally stay within this profile. Okay, so now we've gotten kind of to the end. Let's do a little recap of everything we talked about today. So let me just hide my sidebar. Creating spaces. So the first thing that we did was we talked about creating and customizing spaces for all the different parts of your life. We talked about how you can change the names and the icons and the colors to really customize and personalize your spaces. We talked about how you can set up different folders and pins in each space to totally keep those different parts of your life separated and organized. We also talked about how you can easily move, swipe or click between your spaces. So it's easy to get around, but also stay focused. And then we also talked about profiles as our digital boundaries to fully separate parts of our life digitally. We talked about creating a profile by going to space options, profile, new profile, moving some or all of your current spaces or none at all. And then we talked about how you can set up unique favorites in your new profile, separate out search history and cookies and everything between those profiles, and that you can log into separate accounts in each profile so that way you can check your personal email and your work email in two separate spaces, two separate profiles. So I hope this helped you out and helped you better understand ARC and allow you to customize it more for yourself. If you wanna stay in touch with me or just follow me, as I said, I'm a visual person, so I'm mostly on Instagram. You can follow me at Callan S underscore R. And thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.